Victoria University has an art collection of over 500 items that have been built over many years, since the 1940s up until the present. As a representative collection of New Zealand art, we have some of the really big names in our art history. Colin McCann, Toss Williston, Gordon Walters, Ralph Hortery, Louise Henderson, Francis Hodgkins and many others. Over time we've added to those works with um, examples by younger artists and we're still very active in collecting works today by newer generations who are coming through. The University Art Collection was begun by staff of the University. Uh, key people like Douglas Lilburn and JC Beaglehole, academics here working at the University, believed that it was important to enhance their environment by acquiring works of art. And it all began in the staff club when uh, various individuals decided that they would pool a little bit of money uh, towards acquiring works that they could hang around the university. In the early days of the collection, it was really looked after by staff of the university who were not art historians or professionals of any kind. For example, Tim Beaglehole, who was professor of history, loved the collection and was very involved in, in developing it. In those days, paintings were not terribly expensive. Uh, so there were, there were one or two painters who we couldn't consider because of the price, but most of them we could. Even you know, um, McCann, Wollaston, well-known figures like that. What I was wanting really to do was to have a collection where members of the university, students and staff and so on, would see paintings as another way of perceiving the world, a way which contrasted with their academic way of seeing the world. And that this might, at the least, start them thinking, but also it would, it would show them a part of New Zealand that some of them mightn't have ever come across before. The vast majority of works in the collection are paintings. They seem to really suit the conditions that they're hung in. But we've also got sculptures, works on paper, photographs, ceramics, conceptual works, moving image works. We've tried to really keep up with the times to make sure that we have a representative sample of New Zealand art, mainly by living artists, but we do have a few works that sometimes have been gifted to us by alumni of the university. Now, since the Adam Art Gallery was constructed in 1999, the university's art collection is managed by a professional team, myself, and a small group of individuals who are trained art historians and are skilled in the care and presentation of works of art. One of the challenges of looking after the collection is of course that it's arranged in the public spaces of the university. It's not under bulletproof glass and we have to take special care to ensure that um, the works are safe and protected. But one of the great advantages of this is that it's available to students and staff and the public at all times. <laughs>